We've seen the tragic result of having a president who had neither the experience nor the wisdom to manage our foreign policy and safeguard our national security. We can't let that happen again. A rough and tumble weekend spilled into today as the Clinton and Obama campaigns clashed over resumes, trade policy, health care, and this picture. Barack Obama in 2006 visiting Kenya in traditional Somali dress. The Obama campaign accused the Clinton campaign of shameful and offensive fear-mongering, stoking some voter concern about his background. The picture appeared on the Drudge Report, but it's unclear if any other outlet got it. Several officials in the Clinton campaign say they personally know nothing about it. They suggest it's an Obama ploy to distract voters from real issues. It is the stuff of tense times. Clinton took it up a decibel or two over the weekend, mocking what he calls the politics of hope. Let's get unified. The sky will open. The light will come down. Celestial choirs will be singing. And everyone will know we should do the right thing and the world will be perfect. In Ohio, which according to some estimates has lost 50,000 jobs as a result of the North American Free Trade Agreement, Clinton also took exception with an Obama flyer, citing her past support for NAFTA. Shame on you, Barack Obama. It is time you ran a campaign consistent with your messages in public. That's what I expect from you. Meet me in Ohio. Let's have a debate. The Obama campaign concedes Clinton never said NAFTA was a, quote, boon to the economy, but he argues the larger picture. Senator Clinton, as part of the Clinton administration, supported NAFTA. In her book, she called it one of the administration's successes. Keeping them both honest, she has said consistently through the campaign that she has problems with NAFTA and wants to reevaluate all trade deals. It's also true that in the past she spoke favorably about it, once in 96 while touring New York's Garment District. Oh, I think that uh, everybody is in favor of free and fair trade, and I think that uh, uh, NAFTA is proving its worth. Hillary Clinton will say anything to get elected. Now she's making false attacks on Barack Obama. The Washington Post says Clinton isn't telling the truth. She championed NAFTA even though it has cost South Carolina thousands of jobs. And worst of all, it was Hillary Clinton who voted for George Bush's war in Iraq. Hillary Clinton, she'll say anything and change nothing. It's time to turn the page. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles. Uh, to get to our base. Her arrival in Bosnia was not quite as dramatic as Clinton put it. Memory should always match the videotape. Cheryl Atkinson, CBS News, Washington. All my grandparents, you know, came uh, over here and... Turns out only one was an immigrant, three were not. I'm very, uh, very proud to state that I'm a full supporter of marriage equality. I believe that marriage is not just a bond, but a sacred bond between a man and a woman. I do not support gay marriage. The server contains uh, personal communications from my husband and me. The server um, will remain uh, private. I, only time I got on the internet, I did two emails, otherwise I didn't want to be one of them. I have been a critic of NAFTA from the very beginning. Frequent favorable comments about NAFTA included this one in 1996. Oh, I think that uh, everybody is in favor of free and fair trade, and I think that uh, uh, NAFTA is proving its worth. Participants in that event said, quote, her remarks were totally pro-NAFTA. And when Barack Obama sent out this mailer last month in Ohio arguing that Clinton actually supported NAFTA as First Lady, Clinton exploded accusing Obama of dirty tricks. So shame on you, Barack Obama. Not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. 
or what you know, all these things coming up that they know affect their jobs, and she's not on the right side of that. She hasn't voted right. So what would make you think that once she gets in, she's going to suddenly go against the people that have given her millions and millions of dollars? I don't. I think that's being incredibly naive and egotistical to think suddenly she's going to see the right. You know.